Hello everyone. So the reason I'm all glammed up and a little bit out of breath is because I just finished filming my Sheen slash 411's try on haul. I have popped back on the 411's jumper. I do believe possibly that that video will be up before this one. But it's currently about 12 p.m. I do need to quickly pop down to the shops now <laughs> because even though it's 12 o'clock, I want to get in the oven by one o'clock a roast lamb because I want to do a slow roast lamb for tonight because tonight my mum, dad, my sister and my brother are coming over for dinner. They haven't come over for ages and it's really at no fault but my own because it just never pops into my head to invite people over. One, because I don't live super close to them. I've always felt bad inviting them over because I feel guilty for the fact they have to travel so far when really it doesn't really matter. It's it's not like it, I'm hours and hours away. I'm only 45 minutes away, so it's not far, but it's not super close either. But yeah, so I need to pop down to the shops to get the ingredients for the roast that I'm gonna cook tonight for them. And then I need to prepare that, pop that in the oven to get that started. And then I wanna do some tidying up around the house again, because I swear once we tidy this house, like not even a day later, it's just messy again. <laughs> So I do want to tidy up, especially because they're coming and I don't want them to think that I just live in a tip. But yeah, so I need to do that too. And I was going to take off my makeup or at least a lipstick, but it actually kind of matches the jumper. And you know what? Why not? So I do need to pop down to the shops and I put this on my story not long ago. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me because I do post on there a bit more than, you know, more than what I'll just put in these vlogs here. But look at these roses Reese got me the other day. But we'll just say hello to Nugget before we go. Hello, Nugget. What are you doing? Are you just lying there? Hello, miss. So yeah, I do need to hurry up and go pop down to Coles so then I can do some tidying up, get the roast on, and get ready for today. But I've also been thoroughly enjoying one of the YouTubers I absolutely have always loved and adored, and I still watch to this day, is Zoe Suck. And I was re-watching some of her older videos, some of her older vlogs, and her and Mark were talking about a TV series called Liar. And I'd never heard of it. And I Googled it, and it's actually on stand. And I think I'm up to episode three? Like the start of episode three. I think they're like 45 minutes long. But I'm thoroughly enjoying that. I don't want to give too much away, but if you really like shows or TV series that it makes you think, and it's kind of like about crime, and little trigger warning, if stuff with sexual assault triggers you i recommend not watching it because it is highly based around that but without giving too much away it's a very good show so far anyway i really like it but i need to stop rambling because i do need to pop down to the shops and then get back home and get this lamb in the oven Alrighty, guys so i'm back from the shops and let me tell you it was busier than i expected so i definitely didn't film anything but the amount of looks i got i know i'm wearing full face makeup i get it but the amount of people that just stared at me like, can you not? If I want to wear this makeup, then I'm going to wear this makeup. Don't judge me. Anyway, so I'm needing to get the lamb started because it does say, so when you initially do all the prep for it, that's going to take a little bit of time. But then you need to roast it for four and a half hours. It is currently, it's just past one o'clock. Then it does say once you take it out, you put it in for another 45 minutes. Maybe I don't need to put it in yet. Maybe I'll have some lunch and show you little bits that I got from the shops because on top of the lamb roast, I'm also going to be cooking a gluten-free, it says it's like a pear custard dessert. The reason I chose to do pears is because I bought a whole lot of pears the other day because they came in like a big bag for like $2.50 and it was so cheap and the pears are small but they're so yummy. I had one this morning. I'm not going to finish all of them so I don't really know why I bought them all. I just thought they were a really good deal. And I thought I might as well use them up and make some sort of pear dessert and because my sister is celiac she barely gets to have any dessert so making her a gluten free one would be really nice. So I got some chippies for me to snack on probably after I finish doing this before I do the lamb. I have already preheated the oven though so I might just keep that on anyway so it's perfect temperature. I got some little treats for Nugget. They do say they're training treats but they I don't know they were on special, so I thought I'd try them for her. So if I actually get sick of having the same stuff. Some gluten-free flour, some eggs, some shredded coconut, which is also in that dessert that I'm going to be making. The recipe I'm going to be... F oh. The recipe I am going to be following, though, for the dessert, it does say to have 
unsweetened almond milk. But my dad's actually, I don't know if he's allergic or he gets some sort of reaction when he has nuts. So I'm not going to put that in. I'm just going to put normal milk in because my family can still have dairy. So I think that'll be fine. So hopefully it still works out okay. We'll see. Got some more broccoli. Some potato. Big old leg of lamb. Then I got some butternut pumpkin to put in for the roast. So I'll go have something to eat. Then I'll come back when I'm ready to prepare this dinner. Okay, so it's about half an hour later. I was just reading over the recipe. <sighs> what is the one herb that you always put with lamb? Rosemary. Did I get any rosemary today? No. I'll see if I've got any in the pantry. I don't think I do. If you're wondering what that beeping is in the background, I put on the dishwasher five minutes ago and it's right next to where I'm wanting to do this little vlog. So it's a bit noisy so I've paused it so it's going to beep every now and then so please just ignore it. I don't have any rosemary. I'm going to have to see if Reese can get someone on his way home from work. I'm just going to have to pop in the rosemary a bit later than what it says. Alrighty, so it does say to put garlic, onion and rosemary rosemary in the pan which obviously i did not get so i'll add that later on when reese gets home so it says one whole garlic head i'm guessing that means like the whole thing and one onion okay beautiful <coughs> place the garlic onion and rosemary in a metal roasting pan so i'm gonna quarter it sorry i made my eyes water so I've just crushed up the garlic to try and peel off the outside layers of each of the garlic cloves. It's definitely a lot easier when you crush them. So seasoned lamb, it says, place the lamb leg right side up in the pan. Sprinkle generously with salt and pepper and rub it in. But I hate touching raw meats. This is kind of gross. Ew. And because I also don't have fresh rosemary, I might actually put some just dried herbs on it anyway. So I'm just going to add some mixed herbs, I think. I should have shown you what it looked like before I put the foil on. But it says to place in the oven and roast for about 4.5 hours. So this is currently what it looks like. It's just a whole lot of foil. You can kind of see the meat in there, but I don't want to open it now. But I'm going to place that in the oven now and then set a timer for four and a half hours. See you in four and a half hours. Don't do that. Don't do that either. All that. No, just stop moving, breathing, talking. <laughs> right, so it's quite a few hours later. As you saw, Reese is home and Nugget's going nuts. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Doing that again. Bye! Yeah, so I finished setting up the table. Pop the salt and pepper down. I've got these ready to put in the oven soon to start roasting because in about 15 minutes, I can take the lamb out. But it will need to go back in for another 45 minutes uncovered. And then I've got the potato ready to start mashing. And in the fridge, I pre-prepared the pears for the custard thing over for dessert. So we'll see how that turns out. Ready? One, two, three. You guys. Yeah, it's all pretend. But the other one I have every morning. Ready? What other one? This one. One, two, three. Got a cup of that. And then some... Match that up. Okay. 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 Like but then, like, then you got the moisture off the. Oh, just falling away from the bone. Oh my god. Oh my god, caught Jasmine. Do you know? This is just okay. like. So good. Good job, Jasmine. Mm. Smashed it. Everyone wants some carrot? Mm. This one's really good. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're just making this pear and custard pie. It's gluten free because only the coolest people are. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. So six eggs. Bird, 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 bird,
Yummy. Nice. I'm feeling the wrong one. Oh no, that was such a good scoop. Absolutely. Nice. Oh. Do you want to hold nugget so we can take a bow nugget? Yeah, mate. So that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, nugget. Hey, baby. <laughs> Mum, Dad, Connie, and Bradley are gone now. I'm very full. We have a lot of dishes to clean. But I think it was really good. I didn't really film too much because. I'm still a bit awkward with the camera and they're very awkward with the camera. But I really enjoyed having them over. We really need to do it more. But the lamb I cooked was absolutely delicious. How good was it, Reese? Delicious. Amazing. Delicious. Amazing. Wonderful. Say bye, Nugget. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so cute. Good girl. But yeah, so that was all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed already and you'd like to do so down below. No, that doesn't make sense. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so down below. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Show everyone how you think the ending of my videos goes. That little clip at the end of the music. <laughs> That's exactly right. You actually filmed the soundtrack for me for that one. Okay, bye.